Hello awesome people, a belated happy holy to everyone and welcome back to Smartphone Tutorials. Let's look at App Lock. Here we go. Alright, so before we begin, what I'd like to mention here is that most of the phone manufacturers have started coming up with their own locks which are integrated into the operating system or skins like you know touchways by samsung or mi ui by xiaomi do have built-in lockers and stuff but this option may not be available to everyone someone like a panasonic or micromax they don't have such options so what do you do in such a scenario simple just go ahead and install app lock there's a host of features, you know, from hiding the app lock icon itself from the app drawer to hiding your pictures from the gallery, hiding your videos from the gallery, putting a lock on each and every app, making a profile. So we're going to have a detailed look at that. So the moment you open the app, it will ask you to set a pattern, which you have to do twice. So and after that, it will ask you to create a backup email so that, you know, in case you forget your pattern or pin, you can go ahead and reset that particular lock option. Now, the moment you open the app, you're greeted with the change log. All right, so the first option in settings is quick lock switch. Now, it displays a notification in your status bar, which allows you to quickly turn this particular app on or off. So that's one way to quickly start or stop the service. All right, now the next option that we're gonna look at is automatic activate profile alert so you can set a profile based on time or location say if you reach home you want to disable the app lock because it is safe the notification will be displayed and there you go this is the option to hide images from the gallery and then every new app that you install you can go ahead and lock it all right now if you'll have a look at this particular option it is photo wall and then there's video wall so you can simply choose which photos and videos you want to hide from the gallery so once you do that it is locked in this particular app and the gallery will simply not have those pictures and videos there you go that's the profile there's a guest mode there's unlock all once you're home and stuff like that you can also create new profiles you can decide how each and every aspect of your phone behaves it from you know the play store to incoming calls to sync bluetooth your apps everything is there so it gives you complete control of your privacy all right now going forward you have a lot of plugins as well which add additional functionality as you can see i'm scrolling through the list of apps which can be locked so basically from system apps to user installed apps everything on this particular application can be locked there you go that's the time lock you can choose what time your phone should enable the lock for what particular application there's a location lock and if you go to the protect option and unlock settings you can change your unlock pattern you can choose if you want a password or a pattern you can choose if you want the pattern to be visible or not you can have a random keyboard there if you go to general there's a power saving mode so if you're low on battery and you still want protection power saving mode can be used for that there you go that's a random keyboard that's the option to hide app lock they you have an option of different covers so basically everything from themes to customization to profiles for each and every app timing location anything that is required for you to keep your data safe is present in this app it is a very small app and the best part is it also supports the fingerprint scanner so for something like a cool pad note 3 it doesn't have built-in protection but it does have a fingerprint scanner if that particular phone is running android 6.0 or above what happens is it simply goes ahead and uses the fingerprint scanner instead of a pattern or a pin so that's even more convenient all right 
and uh, apart from that if you want to go further you have the option to hide the app lock app itself now the way that works is basically once you hide the app you can go to the browser and put a particular url or you can just go to your dialer and dial a particular code which will help you to you know go ahead and uh, open the app even though the icon is not present so not only it works with older devices which don't have a fingerprint scanner or any protection at all it works with one of the latest phones as well so if you have concerns related to your privacy go ahead and install this particular app i'm using it and it's pretty good if you like this video like share and subscribe goodbye